Hi there, I'm Jaakko. Today I'd like to take a look at the 3D code, the new version 4.5 and, and how we can use this to texture a simple asset. So we can, when we open the 3D code we get this and, and we have this um, sort of a window here we can jump into, into things. But I'm just gonna close this and go to file and import a model for per pixel painting. So this is the, the option you want to use if you are going to to basically paint right to the model so you're gonna be if you're texturing a ready-made asset which has UV maps and so on so you can use this so I'm gonna pick up this nut ball thing what I did and and here we have import objects object for per pixel painting and this a uh, couple of settings here um, if you are if you have baked maps uh, by using X normal or something like that and then you have mesh normals you want to keep uh, absolutely untouched uh, it's important to select this lock normals because Otherwise, when you are adding some normal map detail here, it might actually overwrite the... It's gonna start to mess up uh, the mesh normal, so it's important to choose this one, otherwise uh, you might get into trouble. Then you have <coughs> the UV set name here. And I'm gonna keep UV because I know we have UVs and I'm gonna go like maybe 2K map, so you can select that and and this is gonna like uh, affect so you, if you have... Uh, it says that the, depend, depending on your video card memory, uh, you might have some limitations here, but I think we'll be okay with this. So hit OK, and and now it's going to load the model. So here we are. Yeah, it looks like this, and we have to do a quick check the UVs that uh, how the UVs are. So UVs look um, look like uh, as they should be. Basically, we don't have any uh, any huge stretching here. Here, so you can see uh, we have like complex checker here and uh, all these guys. So custom, we can even use a custom custom map for that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go back to the paint and so let's get started with this guy. So uh, we have like these layers here and and this is the, one of the important panels here in the 3D code. This is like a Photoshop layers basically. We have blend modes and and all kinds of uh, depth opacity and opacity and roughness and metal and we cannot affect all of them and this is a very nice way to tweak if you add some detail there and for example you don't want that uh, to affect your metalness channel in in the PPR world uh, you can uh, adjust the metal opacity here and same for the roughness and yeah of the color intensity as well so let's say that we want to add some metal to this. let's say that this is a metal bolt um, we're gonna add new layer and call this um, base metal like this and let's go to metals we have a bunch of uh, presets here we can use let's say we are interested about this this one so it's gonna calculate automatically our curvature map so we didn't we didn't import any maps with us so this is going to automatically do that and this is a huge time saver so you don't need to use XNormal or any other baking application so it's really good and also said that this mod manager requires ambient occlusion layer so do you want to calculate it now yes please that would be great so now it's going to calculate our ambient occlusion and that's again automatic we don't need to do anything we don't need to go to XNormal and mess around there we just um, do that and automatically now we have uh, everything what we need to get started with with this so let's check out our smart material preview so it looks like this now you might see sometimes that it looks like really uh, really like somehow the texture seems stretched or like uh, like this and it's like whoa what is this this looks so pixelated so you need to change the scale of that so you can change the scale by using this magnifying thingy here so let's say maybe maybe we're okay with this so we can go here and right click and fill whole layer so it's going to calculate it take a little time but it should go a bit fast so so now we have this we have effectively created a base metal i'm going to add a new layer let's call this paint so we're going to have to take a look at how this looks it looks really nice you know it has all the roughness and metalness and all that stuff in there so and this seems to be very accurate what comes to the pbr uh you know what comes to the uh, uh sort of what comes to the values of the pbr so so uh, i think definitely i had a huge time saver so if you try to do this in photoshop you should need to 
to check the values first and then kind of see where the UV islands are and then try to avoid painting on the UV islands and, and comparing to that workflow this is absolutely a great time saver so yeah we have paint and we can go to these paints here and we have a lot of to choose from and and you can create your own custom I actually created this one and and I created this one but I, we can actually take a look at the preset so we have like a preset in here this white paint thing and just select that and let's see so it looks like this and again even with this guy we can choose that so the scale of that so so how we can uh, use that and and then if you need another option more options you can right click here and go to smart material editor and here we have this one setting called overall cavity modulator and if you do this you can see that uh, it's gonna boost the effect of the cavity map of, of so that you can get these worn edges more like prominently and maybe we're gonna be able to do okay with this and and you can change the, the color of course like the paint color in here let's say we want to maybe like a beige thing in here like something like this and okay and now we can give it a new name let's call this beige beige pink and yeah I'm gonna save it and now we've got effectively effectively new new uh, smart material in here which is cool yeah I'm just gonna go and uh, fill whole layer again yeah it's uh, yeah it's absolutely uh, I'm loving this um, it's so intuitive and so sort of a unique way to work with these guys so mm, yeah okay it's gonna for some reason it takes longer than normally but mm, okay and we yeah, like this and looks yeah everything looks pretty good to me uh, yeah absolutely uh, it makes sense that the paint is worn out on those edge areas so let's say we want to add some dirt to this so just go in here and add new layer and call this base dirt again if we click one of these the smart material preview will open and we can see that how these smart materials are going to affect our our models so i'm just going to click around and see okay actually this looks pretty good already we can see that this will add some add some dirt to the occluded areas and maybe kind of I, I really dig this so I'm gonna actually fill the whole thing with this so we get some nice dirt to get going and then we can maybe go and add uh, some dirt by hand also on top of this too because now even though it looks pretty good it seems like it's sort of computer generated it doesn't have any any unique uh, details in there so maybe we can go like called hand dirt hand dirt what's that like <laughs> dirty hand <laughs> Yeah, uh, so let's uh, select another one and see if we can uh, if we can do something. Uh, so maybe like I'm kind of noticing that this 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 might be this might be sort of what we are we are looking for. So let's say that we want to paint with these. So just select this and then just select the paintbrush and we can go on and really hand paint this dirt so we can get uh, some unique uh, splotches in there which are are necessarily uh, which doesn't necessarily look like they are computer generated so again we can go and uh, let's say we want to change the scale of them we can always do it after but but we can also just go and change another smart material if we want to so I'm just kind of still looking for more better more better solution for this so we might have some some nicer looking uh, Oh yeah, this looks pretty good actually, yes. So this is definitely what we want. So I'm gonna just uh, can close that and just go and paint this by hand now. You can see that some areas have maybe like these occluded areas especially which uh, are un uh, more like, uh, you know, in, in a place where normally they wouldn't be brushed by, uh, they wouldn't be touched by other objects and so on. So you can see that in this um, smart material the creator has really put emphasis on the occluded areas so yeah let me go in here and add some cries around here this like, this, like some kind of oil oily things and yes 
I think we already kind of start to get uh, somewhere. It doesn't do, it isn't the greatest asset, but um, for the demonstration purposes, I think this will do do fine. So yeah, by by this way, you can hand hand paint uh, some things in here, and yeah. So yes, basically, uh, yeah, we could be almost done with this. Uh, so um, and then always, of course, if you don't like. Uh, something you can always go hit the eraser and just go and uh, erase erase if you have like you feel like you have too much dirt somewhere you can always go and uh, just erase it erase it to, to give it more like a controlled look I suppose but yeah this is the process yes uh, so now we are basically ready we could we could uh, just export this and and do the to the engine and and be done with this so I'm really big fan of 3d code and the whole workflow of of working with uh, the PBR textures here it's absolutely fast and if you need to make some individual assets and you just need to put some quick PBR materials on them I think 3D code is absolutely brilliant way to do that and what's really great about this is especially that the group mapping and and you can paint across the UV seams here so you don't need to worry about the UV seams they never show up and it is just works perfectly absolutely great so yeah uh, and also 3D code is a rather affor affordable program so if you are into uh, 3d sculpting and so on uh, absolutely yeah 3d code is great um, great tool for that so yeah this was Yako about texturing a simple 3d asset inside 3d code i hope you enjoyed and please subscribe i hope to see you soon